Earth's rising seas are some of the most visible signs of our warming planet. Over the last 20 years, NASA's satellites, airborne missions, and field campaigns have shown a steady rise in global sea levels as the world's polar ice sheets melt. Here to tell us more about this is Dr. Tom Wagner from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Um, start by telling us, you know, you have some new images. What do these new images show us uh, about sea level rise? You know, they show us two really important things. You know, and the first thing is this. Sea levels are rising around the world, and in the last last 20 years they've risen by over three inches on average and we know this number really well it's actually recorded by a number of different satellites that go over the earth and bounce radar signals off the ocean to de determine its height the other amazing thing though is that the ocean has topography you know you can almost think of it like a mountain range with peaks and valleys and the coast of california in this case actually is a little bit of a valley right now and this is caused by a combination of wind and ocean currents but what people really need to take away is that sea level's rising and it's going to continue to rise. And it's rising enough that it's already impacting us. Causing sea levels to rise. What's causing sea levels to rise? What's causing sea level rise are two basic things. One is that as the planet warms up, the volume of the ocean expands. And that's about half of the sea level rise. The other half comes from melting of ice that's on land, in particular the glaciers and ice caps of Alaska and Canada, and also the major ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica. And we have this other amazing satellite called GRACE, which actually allows us to map changes in the weight of the ice sheets. And what we found is that in the Greenland case, we're not only losing ice, but the ice loss seems to be accelerating, and that's something that we're trying to account for in our models as we move forward. What is NASA doing to understand how much sea level could rise in the future? NASA is doing three basic things. You know, one is we're developing the technologies to study sea level rise, and then we're deploying them on satellites and also on aircraft to measure how fast the ocean's going up. But we're also trying to understand the processes that are driving the ice loss, and that's why we put scientists out in the field to study what's going on with the ice itself, both on the ice and in the oceans around the ice, because that's an important factor. And then finally, we pull all that data together into models. And those models are important for us to understand the processes of ice loss and also to do the forecasts into the future to kind of produce those numbers that society needs to plan for 10, 50, 100 years out. And where can we learn more and, and see some of these images? One of the best places to go is nasa.gov backslash earth where you can learn all about the work that we're doing right now, the data sets that are available to see, and also learn about other NASA programs studying the earth.